Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Vieron and today I want to talk about a little conversation I had in a dungeon run yesterday. So we were running Volta Stars and it was kind of a pug. I didn't know any of them. I just searched Volta Stars and I waited there for kind of a long time. And it finally popped. It went okay-ish, but it's a pug. You can't expect it to go perfectly. But we got through it and in the midst of all that running, I was talking to the people in the group, I'm guessing they're subscribers, so shout out to you guys, and they were essentially talking about Volta Stars should be in the RAQ. Now I was a bit reluctant to do a video on this because last time I did one of these sort of videos, it was about the 22k item level players should not be able to get the end game gear in the Ancient Dragons and I was called elitist and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way however this is going to be an interesting topic do I agree that random advanced queues need more dungeons yes there isn't enough dungeons in the REQ if we look at the queues right here you can see that the dungeon queue the regular dungeon queue has all of the um, basically main dungeons FBI should be in the advanced queue I don't know why it's in here and I feel like you know Malabog is they hit hard in Malabog it's really strange I feel like Malabog could be in the advanced and maybe Villindra as well however and Castle Never so they could maybe split them up a little bit however to put Volta Stars in here so as you can see in the advanced dungeon queue they removed Inferno Citadel why buggy People couldn't do it, so on, so on, complaints, blah, blah, blah. Ravenloft is still in here. People can't do it, people are afraid of it, they leave the dungeon queue, blah, blah, blah. Why would it be a smart idea, and I hope Cryptic don't do it, by the way. Why would it be a smart idea to add Volta Stars in just to make up the numbers? To me, that makes absolutely no sense. If you put Volta Stars in the random advanced queue... It's just going to fail. The random advanced queue only has four dungeons as it stands right now. And also the trial queue demo golden has been removed. Again, people complaining. People couldn't do it. Blah, blah, blah. And their argument for it was, they've seen videos, Galactic Underwear, Aragon, uh, Northside. They said, it, Vault of Stars doesn't, doesn't look that difficult. And I'm thinking to myself, these are YouTubers who basically have endgame characters, they're literally at the top of the game with top of the game groups, which is why it looks so easy, because they have the group to back them up. If they went in there alone, wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, and then they did mention that Brian, if anyone knows him, he's quit now, he was a PlayStation player, uh, his YouTube was Grove Street or something like that, I apologise, I can't remember, but he soloed Voss, and they were saying... Well, if Brian can solo a boss, it can't be that difficult. And I'm like, I think Brian said it, it took him three hours. I don't see the point in putting boss in the random advanced dungeon queue. I think this will be a lot of failure. I think this will be a lot of frustration. People will start blaming bugs. People will start blaming glitches like they have done constantly. It's like with Demo Gorgon. Personally, I didn't think it was that difficult, but again, I, you know, my character is pretty much up there, and obviously with with pug groups, they are likely to fail because it's not a pre-made group. You don't know each other. You haven't got advice from each other. You haven't built your characters to the same level as each other. You've just got a mix and match of different levels, which is why people fail. And then Voss is extremely mechanic heavy. It's like Ravenloft in a sense. Ravenloft, a bit more buggy. Um, Ravenloft, I don't think the mechanics are that hard in Ravenloft personally. You've just got to learn them. But Vault of Stars, the mechanics again are not that hard once you learn them. But you have to get your precision, positioning right. You have to position yourself in the correct place. Every single boss fight, even the mobs, when you've got the poison plants and all that stuff, and you've got the loomy phase, where the mobs just literally dive into you, you've got to have the right setup. That tank, there's a certain ring 
when the tank's moving, it pulls them in or something like that. I don't know. It's something like that. And that's what a lot of the tanks seem to use. However, when I've been in pug groups, tanks don't actually use that. And it's the same for healers. They aren't running the right gear. And it's the same for DPS. They aren't running the right gear. So for you to want Vault of Stars in the advanced dungeon queue, it's just going to open yourself up to more frustration, to more failures. Because that run last night, and I apologize for this, but it wasn't a smooth run. It wasn't a perfect run. It wasn't a bad run. But it just wasn't a good run either. And it took us, what, 45, 50 minutes to get through it? Everyone's going to say, like, a 45 minute run is a really, really bad run. Now we were waiting around a lot, switching gear out and all that stuff. We, there, there was reasons it took so long. However, it just wasn't a smooth run in general. Um, there was a few deaths. There just wasn't any wipes. And to put that in a random advanced queue, where that's where basically the average player actually queues up. Um, all the mediocre players. If we look at the at the epic here, so you got to be 45k to go into Vault of Stars. That doesn't mean you can complete it at 45k. And this is what people do not understand. That is just a requirement to get into it. Again, me personally, I don't know why Cryptic have made 45k the requirement. I don't know why they've made 22k on the Ancient Dragons a requirement. Because in my opinion, it makes absolutely no sense. And it's just going to infuriate those people who are having a bad time, who are dying all over, who can't keep up with the DPS, who are causing the run to go badly. They're just going to get frustrated and they're going to go off the game. But just know that when it comes to these queues... Your Vault of Stars, your demo, your tier mat, it's just a requirement. I can't see Cryptic, I don't know if they tested it, but I can't see Cryptic doing Vault of Stars with a load of 45k item level players. I personally can't. Maybe you guys know different, maybe you guys have tested it. Me personally, I haven't tested it. However, 45k is extremely weak. Um, and I cannot see Cryptic doing this. It's just a required item level. And if we look at IC, oh, IC has been taken out altogether. There is no Infernal Citadel, but I see, in my opinion, was harder than Vault of Stars. And that was actually added into the Advanced Dungeon Queue. And now it's been taken away. Why? Because people can't do it. However, I do admit that four dungeons in this queue just isn't enough, in my opinion. You can definitely move some from the dun regular Dungeon Queue. You can move Castle Never, FBI, Malabog, Falindra. You can move them simple add some more um variety into the advanced dungeon queue trials again not so much of a big big thing um doesn't bother me too much if people fail then that's not a cryptic problem that's a you problem your characters just aren't ready but personally i i hope cryptic do not put Voss in the advanced dungeon queue anytime soon because then dungeon queues will fail and it will be another raven left on our hands where people are just leaving. That's just my opinion. Let me know yours down in the comments section below. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. You want to make your way back to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.